These are actual car insurance claims. Like, the pedestrian hit me and went under my car. And the truck backed through my windshield <laughs> into my wife's face. An invisible car came out of nowhere, struck my car, and vanished. As I approached an intersection, a sign suddenly appeared in a place where no stop sign had ever appeared before. I was unable to stop in time to avoid the accident. Coming home, I drove into the wrong house and collided with a tree I don't have. I collided with a stationary truck coming the other way. I don't... I didn't think the speed limit applied after midnight. I had been driving for 40 years when I fell asleep at the wheel and had an accident. I had been learning to drive with power steering. I turned the wheel to what I thought was enough and found myself in a different direction going the opposite way. I had been shopping for plants all day and was on my way home. As I reached an intersection, the hedge sprang up, obscuring my vision. I didn't see the other car. I knew the dog was possessive about the car, but I would not have asked her to drive if I thought there was any risk. I left for work this morning, 7 a.m. as usual, when I collided straight into a bus. The bus was five minutes early. I pulled away from the side of the road, glanced at my mother-in-law, and headed over the embankment. I pulled into the side of the road because there was smoke coming from under the hood. I realized there was a fire in the engine, so I took my dog and smothered it with a blanket. I saw a slow-moving, sad-faced old gentleman as he bounced off the roof of my car. I saw her look at me twice. She appeared to be making slow progress when we met on impact. I saw two kangaroos having it off in the middle of the road, so I hit them, which caused me to ejaculate through the sunroof. I started to slow down, but the traffic was more stationary than I thought. <laughs> I started to turn, it was at this point I noticed a camel and an elephant tethered at the verge. The distraction caused me to lose concentration and hit a bollard. I thought my window was down, but I found it was up when I put my <laughs> head through it. I told the police I was not injured, but on removing my hat, found that I had a fractured skull. I was backing my car out of the driveway in the usual manner when it was struck by the other car in the same place it had been struck several times <laughs> before. I was going about 70 or 80 miles per hour when my girlfriend reached over and grabbed my testicles so I lost control. I was on the way to the doctor with rear end trouble <laughs> when my universal joint gave way causing me to have an accident. <laughs> I was sure the old fellow would never make it to the other side of the road when I struck him. I was thrown from my car as it left the road. I was later found in the ditch by some stray cows. I was able, unable to stop in time and my car crashed into the other vehicle. The driver and passengers then left immediately for vacation with injuries. In an attempt to kill a fly, I drove into a telephone pole. That's overkill. My car was legally parked as it backed into another vehicle. No one was to blame for the accident, but it would have never have happened if the other driver had been alert. No witnesses would admit having seen the mishap after it happened. On approach to the traffic lights, the car in front suddenly broke. The accident happened because I had one eye on the trunk in front, one eye on the pedestrian, and the other on the car behind. The accident happened when the right front door of the car came round the corner without giving a signal. <laughs> the accident occurred when I was attempting to bring my car out of a skid by steering it into another vehicle. The accident was caused by me waving to the man I hit last week. The car in front hit the pedestrian, but he got up, so I hit him again. The car in front of me stopped for a yellow light, so I had no choice but to hit him. She pushed him through the intersection. The claimant had collided with a cow. The questions and answers on the claim form were, Question, what warning was given by you? A. Answer, horn. Question, what warning was given by the other party? Answer, moo. <laughs> All right, the gentleman behind me struck me on the backside. He then went to rest in a bush with just his rear end showing. The guy was all over the road. I had to swerve a number of times before I hit him. <laughs> the indirect cause of the accident was a little guy <laughs> in a small car with a big mouth. The other car collided with mine without giving warning of its intention. <laughs> intention to collide. The pedestrian had no idea which way to run as I ran him over. <laughs> oh my god. The pedestrian ran for the pavement, <laughs> but I got him. The telephone pole was approaching. I was attempting to swerve out of the way when I struck the front end. To avoid hitting the bumper on the car in front, I struck a pedestrian. When I saw I could not avoid a collision, I stepped on the gas and crashed into the other car. Windshield broke. Cause unknown. Probably voodoo. 